Imagine creating a woodworking project that connects the physical and digital worlds. With QR codes, your craftsmanship can now tell a story, share a message, or even sell a product. QR codes are everywhere, and for a good reason. They're fast, convenient, and highly customizable. But did you know they can elevate your woodworking projects? Whether you're adding a signature touch to your crafts or directing customers to your portfolio, QR codes are a game changer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a QR code that will link a customer to your page, site, or shop. That way they have easy access to your great products. And we'll do all this using Xtool Creative Space's somewhat new code generation feature. So first off, I start with an untitled page on Xtool Creative Space. Using Xtool Creative Space features, I can add a QR code and engrave it all on one platform. So first things first, I need to find the link that I want to send my QR code to. So here's my Etsy shop. On this dashboard, I can see all my projects that I've created for people to buy. This is what I want to link my QR code to because I want people to come on this page, see all my five-star reviews about my shop and then the items I have to sell. So I can copy the web address on the search bar. So I come up to the top and control copy. Then I'll take that link back to my blank Xtool page and come over here to the left sidebar under the Applications tool. Click it and come over to Code Generation. So there's two different types of codes that I can create a QR code or a barcode. Barcodes will be good if you're trying to put a price tag on each individual product that you can later scan. But for this scenario, I want a QR code. So I can enter my Etsy page link and then I can click save. In all transparency, I'm unsure what this advanced setting feature does, but it defaults to the 15% setting, so that's what I usually use. So I click save and here it brings up a QR code. Obviously, you would like to test this QR code before you start engraving. So I pull up my phone and scan the QR code, and it brings me right to my shop. So that's where I wanted it to take me. So now I can do any additions that I need to it, and then start engraving. So I'd love for it to have some kind of cool header on the top, such as scan to follow my shop. Okay, I like that. So now I want to put a border around it. So I'll come over here and add a rectangle. And center that up. So there's all my pieces. I've got the border. I've got the scan to follow my shop. And I've got my QR code. So since I had this border around my QR code, this is what I want to cut out. So I want it to be a rectangular QR code scanner. So I can click on my border and I want it to be 100% power, 7 millimeters per second, and 2 passes. On a thin piece of basswood, this is the perfect speed and power setting where it does not burn around the engraving but it also cuts it all the way through. And I'd like to have the same on both my scan to follow my shop and my QR code. So I'll do 80% power, 70 millimeters per second, and lastly, 80% power and 70 millimeters per second. Once I have all the speed and power updated, I will have to change the height and width of this engraving. So the piece of material that I'm working with is four inches tall and four inches long. It's a square. So I want to make my engraving a little bit smaller than that at 3.8 inches tall. And as you can see, the width changed based off of the height because their aspect ratio is locked. So once I have this, I can go and frame it and make sure that it doesn't run off my page and then start my engraving. And all framing is, is testing the path of the outside of your engraving 
to make sure that it doesn't run off your piece of material. And I can frame using this button right here. So I've got this engraving going at about 10 times its normal speed, just so I can show you how it looks. I'm currently doing this on a small piece of basswood, just as an example, to show you how to put a QR code on a piece of material. So here's the final product. As you can see, it's pretty dark and it will be good for a customer to come up and find and scan. And let's make sure the QR code works, and it does. So now I know when I'm trying to sell my products at somewhere like a farmer's market, I can have this QR code out there where people can scan it and visit my shop. This is a great tool to have people come on my shop, view my products, and make purchases. So I hope you found some benefit from this video and learned how to add a QR code on Xtool Creative Space to then drive your customers to your shop, page, or other products. Please like and subscribe to find some other Xtool, Xtool Creative Space, and laser engraving content. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down in the comment section below, and I hope everybody has a great day. Happy engraving!